Welcome back to our five words in five minutes series. Today's affix or affixes are col, com and con. They all mean the same thing, which is why they're in the same video, which is with or together. Now, as usual, let's look at some words that you will know already that have these prefixes. Contain, I have just thought of another one actually, company as well. That's one thing that you do together. Connect, you put things together, combine, similar thing, and cooperate. Now, I know I don't have co on the previous screen, just for space reasons, but co is another, prefix, another version of this prefix that means with or together. Let's get into our five words. First up, we have conspire. Let's look at the example sentence. The football manager had conspired with the referee to make sure the opposing team lost. He had conspired with the referee. Now, making sure another team loses is bad, it's wrong, and they have worked together to do that. So conspire is when you work with another person to do something wrong, and you can write down, if you're writing these definitions, to make a secret and harmful plan with someone. To make a secret and harmful plan with someone. When I think of conspiring, I think about people whispering or um, muttering in dark corners and so that they are working together in secret and no one else hears what they're saying. So to conspire. Quite similar to collude, if you've heard that word before as well. Okay, committee. So a committee. The school committee had monthly meetings to discuss how to improve the school. The committee had monthly meetings to discuss how to improve the school. Now a committee is when people come together to discuss something important, they work together. Usually the people on a committee need to be elected, so voted for, in order to have that position. So a school committee might have teachers or parents or people from the community, another com word, that meet to discuss things for the larger group, for far more people than are at that particular meeting. So the definition of committee is a group of people chosen to make decisions about an important subject. A group of people chosen to make decisions about an important subject. That's committee. Don't forget, if you want to write these down, you can just pause the video, get it down, and then we'll keep going. Okay, collaborate. We've got our col prefix there. Oops. There we go with collaborate again. Okay, so collaborate. Here we go. The schools collaborated to create a beautiful mural. Schools collaborated. They came together. A mural, by the way, is a big painting on a wall. If you haven't seen one before, maybe you can look out for them because they are dotted around all over the place. Okay, so to collaborate, it's to work together on a project. When you work together, and you collaborate, you're working to create something or to achieve something in particular. So collaborate to work together on a project. Okay, next up, conflict. Now there are two ways of saying this word because it's a homograph, spelt the same way, but you can say conflict and conflict. So let's do conflict. The children had conflicting ideas about which game to play, so they let their friends vote for their favourite. They had conflicting ideas. Now, why would you need to vote for your favourite between two ideas? You'd probably need to vote because they're very different and it might be difficult to choose. So they're conflicting ideas, they're different, perhaps in opposition to each other, um, they go against each other. So the definition of conflict is ideas, opinions or thoughts that go against each other. You might have conflicting opinions, conflicting ideas. When you say conflicting there, you're, you're using it as an adjective. Okay, so that's the first definition. The second definition. The myth was about the conflict between two powerful gods. So we're saying conflict now. The myth was about the conflict between two powerful gods. It's about the argument, the they're in opposition again. So conflict is all about things that, like, it's kind of like a fight, things that don't go together. So the definition, a serious argument or disagreement. So the book is about the serious argument between the two gods. Okay, compatible. Now, compatible, you could say, I found out the app was not compatible with my tablet and so I couldn't play it. 
tablets. So you can't play it. That's because the app won't work with your tablet. So they are not compatible. They don't go together nicely. And the definition there, ideas or things that can work or exist together without a problem. So if things are compatible, they can work together, no problem, nothing will break, um, everything will run smoothly, they are compatible. You can talk about people's personalities being compatible as well. Um, if they're not compatible, then they might have lots of fights, there might be lots of conflict. Okay, so that's the definition for compatible. And if you want to add a prefix to make its antonym, then you end up with incompatible. So you just add that prefix and it means that things don't go together. And the definition there is not able to work with something else. So not able to work with something in particular, like the example of the app not going with the tablet. They can work on their own, but not together. Okay, those are our five words. Write those down, revise them, and don't forget that if you want some more vocabulary resources with lots of images and fun ways to revise, then visit wordia.online for all of your vocabulary needs. See you in the next video.